Welcome back, everybody, to the final historical battle of the African Royals DLC in AoE 3. Uh, we did the two new civs, the Hausa and the Ethiopians, and now we have the Battle of the Three Kings, which is the Moroccans, which aren't a, a civ, so I'm uh, not too sure how this is going to work. But I'm sure it will be fun. The last two scenarios were pretty fun. Good showcases of the, you know, the new civs and all that. But here we'll have the Battle of Three Kings, 1578. Uh, Moroccans, protagonist Abhad al-Mansur, and our enemies is actually going to be the Portuguese. Uh, Sebastian of Portugal, a young and jealous king, has launched an invasion into Morocco under the pretense of a crusade. The Saudis, however, are not impressed and gather their army to meet the invaders. The Iberians may have the superior technology, mercenaries, and the help of the local puppet sultan, but the sultan's forces are fighting to protect their homes. And stuff. All right, so we are in Morocco over here. And this is like still kind of at the very edge of the AOE 2 time frame. This is like, what, 50 years after Almeida? Uh, so, yeah, we already read all that. Look at that, Yusuf. The Portuguese have transported their army over from Iberia and are preparing to march south. We have been spotted. Let us ride quickly to warn the Sultan of the imminent danger. Okay. Our esteemed Sultan, King Sebastian and his army have arrived. They will be here soon. We will be ready for them. Tell my brother to alert the tribes. <laughs> Your brother calls upon you, Ahmad al-Mansur. You must lead the mounted forces of Morocco against these invaders. Alrighty then. Alright, here we are. Got a lot of HP. And it looks like we're... It looks kind of like we're European Civ, almost. Um, okay, so we got Tribal Horsemen with low population cost. Yeah, those are these guys. And they are kind of like weak Hussars. And AoE 3 Hussars are kind of like your standard cavalry. And the Bedouin horse archers, I don't know what the, the Bedouins are doing, you know, all the way over from Arabia, but, you know. Wait, uh, defend Sultan al-Malik's camp, you'll be, uh, you'll lose if his TC is destroyed, and convince the four other tribes to join the fight. Okie dokie. Looks like we are in Istanbul? I guess we're, like, a, an offshoot of the Ottomans. The Portuguese are stockpiling loot from their raids and outposts throughout the region. We should take back what is ours. Okay. Yeah, it seems like our army is very much on the cheap, weak side of things. What's this? The Berbers. Will you give me camel archers? We have been claimed what the Portuguese stole from us. Oh. Cool. Um, trading posts generate more resources. Reveals all trading posts. Okay. Berber warfare and team. Okay. That one gives us more HP for our cavalry. And since it seems like this is going to be like a, you know, low amount of units, this should be good. Anyway, these guys should be good against cavalry. And indeed they are. Berber camel riders. Brothers, join me so that we can push these crusaders out of our Oh, Ber the, the Berber nomads. I remember them from the Hausa. They, uh... Wait, what? Outpost wagon. Um, okay, so I guess... Hmm. Let's send these guys back to our camp. I don't have a trading post, though. Oh, wait, I can build one. If that's going to be, like, my main source of resources, uh, it's going to be, I think, pretty important to... Okay, so Heron Wind increase the speed of everybody. Wait. Okay, we're good. Yeah, here's the trading post route. Let's go get um, some trading posts. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, just go for it, man. How are you guys doing? Berber Archer, Berber Spearman. I mean, uh, I hope they're going to be all right. Guess let's just build another outpost to defend our camp. Okay, we'll just do that. Uh, I feel like this isn't all that great. That, on the other hand, should be nice. That'll give us uh, resources. Let's see if we can find any more trading routes. Like this one. Yeah, you guys are fine. Make some more riders, because that's pretty much all we can do right now anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, rip. Alright, so we can build barracks and artillery foundries and arsenals, even. Sure, why not? I need more houses. Not more houses, more houses. We can't build them. Awkward. Have you gathered golden food? Three hundred thirty-one coin in one shipment. That is very specific. Okay, sure, why not? Go get him! Yeah. Just this last one. And we should be good to go. Oh, no. Just kidding. Oh. Stuck. Stuck. Okay, one more trading post. I need your aid. The Portuguese are in my camp. All right. Go ahead and help them out then, I guess. Yeah, that is a lot of them. I guess we should focus on the cavalry, even if we can make uh, infantry. I mean, we'll have to make some cannons, obviously, just to destroy some buildings at some point, I'm sure. Okay, looks like they're making it happen. Hey, okay, what's this? Whoa, hello! Zenata Rider. Uh, these guys are Dragoons. Camel Riders. Okay. I'll, I'll take it. Oh, now we have more population space, interestingly. Oh, you guys have to go all the way around town. Okay, well... Ooh. Yes, they do. Oh, I also have another stable right here. Um... It's a rock. I call on the faithful. Help me fight the invaders. Okay. Well, um, how do I destroy these rocks? <laughs> I mean, clearly this villager ain't doing the trick. We have 
reclaimed what the Portuguese stole from us. I wonder if our villagers are going to be any better. There's always hope. Now, notice I have one of each flavor. Nope. How do I destroy a rock, man? <laughs> oh no, gather food, gather gold. I don't even care anymore. Build an outpost. Nom. Okay, there are our friendos. Let's take down those organ guns. I wonder how I get to Castle Age, Fortress Age, whatever. Oh, get wrecked, nerds. Oh, they got another wave. But I have, like, this huge army over here. I wonder if I can go further north. Let's see if we can uh, split up at people a bit. Maybe we can even make it all the way over here. And uh, how about these guys? Oh, I should probably build a trade post at the, uh, the local Berber settlement thing. I guess I can only make these guys. Whatever. Go get him! I mean, we're gonna need to get the castle age eventually. Okay. Let's get Ahmad Al Mansur. Honestly, I just kind of feel like banking up shipments. There's a lot we can get in the next stage. Mount your horses, tribesmen. Morocco needs. Yeah. Okay, that's a big old, big old base. Uh, maybe we can go around it still? I'm not too sure. Okay, first let's liberate the last village. Okay, uh, oh yeah, let's see what these techs are. Salt camel. Okay, that was create a salt mine. Camel riders and sultans, a charged musket attack. Gain more hit points. Brother, I need your aid. The Portuguese are in my cap. Uh, coin trickle. King Sebastian uses oh, these coastal please. towns to supply his army. Oh, Seize the fort yeah, so that they can no longer send supplies from Iberia. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just attack them from over here. Lusa. Azul. Eh? Ferma. Go hunt or something. The Genève. I don't know, build an outpost. Oh yeah, these are the camel riders. I guess we'll get that. And that, and that, and that. I mean, why not? This fort is ours again! Oh, sick. Wah! Oh, Arsenal. The fort has fallen to our armies. Inshallah, Sebastian will have nothing left to feed his army. Oh, we can make fishies. Gimme, gimme. And this will also allow us to make some more cavalry and stuff. Sure. Wait. Uh, oh, does this place not have a stable? How unfortunate. 
Okay, we can take down these guys. Look at all the cav upgrades. Let's do another stable too. Can even get some of our. Uh, oh, well. Q's kind of long on that one. All right, all right. I wonder how we age up. Ah! Scary! I guess we'll just make more of these guys. And honestly, might as well get some, uh... Some of those guys. So I'm really not aging up anytime soon, it seems. See if we can uh, find a way through the mountains so we can reconnect our armies. Our little winding pass over here. Oh, I guess we can take out these guys. Uh, yeah, it could be getting a little rough over here. Might as well replenish our lost forces. Yeah, I'll make an artillery foundry eventually. Okay, well, that guy's dead, finally. But I think we'll be able to regroup our armies. We just uh, walk all the way around over this way. We're running low on resources, finally. We have reclaimed what the Portuguese stole from us. Nusa. The Walmart. Okay. How'd you guys get up there? What? Okay. And it looks like we can get out. Sick. Okay, we have a pretty big army right now. Oh, we have a Sultan too. Alrighty. Feels like we're making progress. Just build an outpost right there. Maybe you can build some forward buildings and such. I assume we'll have to take down the Portuguese camp eventually, right? Oh, these guys are really bad versus buildings. Unfortunate. Big horsey horse army. Okay, there's something to attack. We should be fine. Clean out these guys. Oh, rip our hero. Yeah. Sidi, it is your brother. He has fallen ill and might not live out the day. Do not tell a soul of this. Uh -oh. If the soldiers hear this news, they might lose heart and flee. I will lead our army and drive out King Sebastian and his crusaders myself. Okie dokie. That's good.
And we have to destroy King Sebastian's sure camp. Kind of what you might expect. Okay, now we got to Castle Age. Fortress Age. Is using a Sultan to justify his rule. If we capture him, the Portuguese will lose support among the local inhabitants. Okay. I'll take that. We have reclaimed what the Portuguese stole from us. Let's get that and that. That, sure. Okay, so now it's like a uh, much more standard, like, build and destroy sort of scenario. But we still have a gigantic army. I feel like we probably took our time <laughs> when it came to the, uh... You know, liberating the, the villages and stuff like that. Uh, let's go take out the, the Sultan. Okay, sure. Oh, I cannot build more town centers. Uh, let's get some falcon nuts. I don't really want to focus on infantry, but might as well upgrade the ones that we have. I mean, we're pretty much in control. All right. Please, do not hurt me. All I ever wanted was to regain my throne. I will share all of the information that I have in the Okay. Got some uh, galleys over here. Okay, let's make some forward buildings. Stable time. Oh, do I have a market now? We have one all the way back here, I thought, yeah. All right, things are looking okay for once. Okay, our heroes over here. Oh, I forgot to add more fishing ships. That was probably silly of me. If the Portuguese destroy the town center of the Moroccan army camp, all will be lost. I don't think that's an issue right now. Okay. Uh, eight villagers, sure. Andalusian exiles. Villagers gather all food faster. And better mortars. Okie dokie. Okay, let's get ourselves an artillery foundry. We already have some falconets. These guys ain't got nothing. They've only got castle age upgrades and stuff. They gon' get clapped. Uh, get the trans hera trade. Okay, we'll get uh, field guns. More horsey horses. Got some goats. Okay, we cannot get to Imperial Age. Oh, 
Oh, we never got uh, guard tribal horse. Oh, that is a lot of uh, resources. We got guard horse archers, though. Uh, I can build estates and farms just like normal. So at least, like, unlike the house of the Ethiopians, it seems like the Moroccans in this scenario are pretty much just a, a slight remake of the Ottomans or something like that. Well, not really. It's more like they're just a sort of European-ish sieve. <laughs> Slightly different units. But thankfully, for our purposes, uh, Ottomans are my favorite sieve in AoE 3. Sure, get some more mortar stuff. Make some cannon go boom. Oh, rip. How are these guys doing? Go get them! All of this is fine. Oh. Um, I don't, I'm not make, really making infantry. Okay, I'll take that. Don't really need that. All units train faster. That's really expensive, though. I don't really have any livestock. Azul. I should get the uh, guard upgrade for my horses. But things are going pretty well right now. Not gonna lie. Oh, well, whatever. Gather yeah, all food faster. I like that. Controversial opinion. I like gathering all my food faster. Okay, uh, we are gonna need some reinforcements. Get you. Those guys are pretty expensive, though. Tarts! Oh no! What am I gonna do? Barbary Gate. Wait, what? Is that a dead guy? Oh, it looks like he's alive. Wait. Can I go in? I can! Alright! <laughs> sure! I'll take it! Uh, that was gold mine. You guys are in need of gainful employment. Sure, get some of those guys. It looks like we are well on our way to victory right now. Nice. You. You. Well, that was fun.
by dusk, the Portuguese army was no more. Those who had not fallen in battle were captured by Moroccan riders. The body of their king was never found, and the puppet sultan drowned in a river Oof. while trying to escape the carnage. Shortly thereafter, Sultan Abd al-Malik also drew his last breath. He and his aides had concealed his severe illness during the battle to maintain the morale of his forces. But now, content with his victory, the old man finally relinquished his life. Yeah. Three kings died that day. Spain subsequently seized control of Portugal, and Ahmed al-Mansur succeeded his brother as Sultan, ruling over Morocco for the next 25 years. And that's it, guys. That was the African Royals. Uh, that was fun. I, I like, kind of like these ones. Uh, I, I really enjoyed this. I enjoyed them, honestly, more than the actual AOE 3 campaigns, uh, except, like, the Asian ones, because, like, I don't know, it's actual history, right? But, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Really enjoyed it. L nice little, uh, excursion back into Age of Empires 3. But, alas, that is now done, as, uh, we're just gonna go back to Age of Empires 2, as usual. It is the game I love best, but still, I appreciate AOE 3 for what it is, and that was a lot of fun. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.